Hi everyone. Um, football manager's back. That's pretty cool, right? I'm happy about it anyway. Um, so on that note, we're currently here, looking at the 18th of June. South Africa got two more friendlies coming up, and what I'm hoping will happen is K Moon will play in these. The world ranking is still not going to be high enough. Ah, uh, the categories: league matches, level of league, achievements, three to five points threshold. Hmm. He's won the African Confederations Cup, and that is not enough. Well, anyway, let's keep an eye on him. Okay. Anyway. K-Moon is not going to come in. I hope when I press this continue, we're going to see... Hopefully? Maybe? We're going to see a certain Albert Brault Jorland joining. No? Okay. Marrero going to loot him for six and a half mil. Underwhelming. Decreased determination on David Daly. That's not what we want to see. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. It's fine. So what what did happen with our transfer for Shoreland? Because I thought this was done. I think because I am going to go through with it. Yeah, he's good aerially, or decent, really quick, great natural fitness, so he can play lots of games in a season. Um, good, smart finisher of the ball. Works hard, good presser. I think he's I think he's got everything that we need. We play with the pressing forward, so that's regardless of the system. I'm a fan of it. So let's have a look at what our 11 is going to look like. We'll have Frommen. We'll have Bur No, not Burgess at right back. We don't have a right back yet. So it's the required quality. We'll go with Burgess at centre back. Probably along with Marin, but would like to uh, get a new defender if possible. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Julius Dirks and a left back. Not really good enough. Ball winner. Again, we don't really have anyone who's of that Premier League quality. David Daly. We've got for centre mid. Right wing. We have Poku. AMC. We have Louise. Left wing, we have Sarmiento if needed, but I would like to get a new one, maybe. And uh, striker, we're looking for a new one. That would probably be Jorland. Strawberry Blonde, hey! This is some really good managing going on. <laughs> Poggers. Well, it's just a bit of planning for the uh, for the next season. But welcome, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. When does the season end? Oh, the season already ended, Strawberry Blonde. Um, we are in our summer transfer window. We got promoted in second place. Got the automatic promotion. So we are in the Premier League, which is awesome. Jerome, popping off with a tier one sub. Thank you so much. And welcome. Thank you for saying hi. Thank you for dropping in. I really, really appreciate the sub. That's super helpful. Thank you so much for that, Jerome. And welcome. I hope you're doing well. I hope things have been good. I've been away a little while, but it is what it is. Best 11. 
we will replace best 11. Good. You guys are a top seed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit sus. I mean, like, to be honest, I think, I think we can stay up. I'm also willing to splash the cash to try and make sure. I'm happy with our attack, pretty much. Like, we're going to have Jorland in here, which is Holland's cousin. Uh, So I think we need... Yeah. We need the improvements in the fallback area. I guess that's the most urgent place. I hope you're doing good. I'm not bad, thanks, Jerome. Um, I don't know whether you ended up hearing about it, but I went on holiday for a few days, or at least I went north in the country. <laughs> I went up north. Holy shit, who are you? Hello? Gets a work permit. Mm, bad crossing and dribbling. You don't look that amazing, but apparently you're four star current ability, which is confusing to me. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, uh, I've come back, I'm feeling kind of refreshed, I guess. How was the holiday? Well, I mean, it was mostly just like I was housekeeping for my grandparents, so <laughs> it was just a chill thing. We didn't do too much. I fed some ducks, that was nice. There's a duck pond nearby, so I went there. All the way to Scotland? Not quite. I was in uh, I was in Liverpool. Or oh, close enough. Edinson Gar says, right, let me compare you. Try and figure out why you're actually good at football. Apparently you've hit your potential though, which is interesting. Adaptable is good. Uh okay. I'm con I'm just concerned by the nine crossing and eight dribbling. I don't I don't like that. Seven marking is a yikes. Six off the ball. This guy is not good. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Hang on. Let me compare him to Juanola. I mean, he's not even better than Juanola, who's two and a half star current ability. This kid is hella overrated. Actually, massively overrated. Hmm. Complete wing back. So you can do complete wing back, except for the fact that you can't cross, you can't dribble. Um, he doesn't have any flair. Um, his off the ball movement's terrible, and he's not very composed. But apart from that, he's great at it. <laughs> it's like he's relatively quick. Brins ball out defense is okay, but like. Winger, he just doesn't have... Literally, all he has is this pace and agility. He is... I'm not convinced by him. I think my scouts are overrating him here quite heavily. How good has he been? I mean, he's not even killing it in the first division of Colombia. Okay. Um... Supposedly their best player, though. I've been I'm quite busy writing and trying to save for some save some for paint. Got to paint the living room and the kitchen. Oh, I see. Okay, you're not painting anything uh, artistic. Then it's just uh, it's just the aesthetic of the house. I mean, fair enough. Good luck with that. What are you uh, What are you writing? Have you told me about this before? I don't remember you telling me about writing before. If you have, then I apologize. Oh, you know what? I forgot to post I was live. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm actually dumb. Um. Live. Here we go.
Cool. Started writing recently. Cool. What what are you uh what are you writing? Abbas Amadou, yeah, he's sick. <laughs> he's so good. I really want him, but he's expensive, as far as I remember. Actually, has full understanding of English, highly consistent and professional. Madness. Absolute madness. Wait, Smith Rowe is available for £1 million. Oh, he just wants stupid wages. That's a shame. Could have grabbed Emil Smith Rowe, but he was being an idiot. Okay, let's acknowledge all them. Something I realized, I don't know where my uh, pad is that I was using before. It's not this. I don't know if it, I don't think it's this, is it? No, okay, not that. <laughs> I have multiple pads under my desk, so I don't know which one I was using. Doesn't seem like any of those. What about this? This looks like different save. <laughs> and the rest of it's blank. What the heck? Eh? Okay. Not that one then. Ah, this looks like it might be it. The last one that I looked at. This is going to be my pad with all my FM planning in it, probably. This is an old document. Okay. <laughs> uh, about living on minimum wage, maybe some solutions to avoid people from living poverty. Also, how I feel about the EU. Wow, okay, really? Okay, so it's not, uh, it's not, it's not fiction, it's like, uh, that's really interesting, Jerome. That obviously is not what I was, uh, not what I was expecting. Is this okay? I think this is it. But that's really cool. I hope that's, uh, I hope that's going well. How come you chose to write about that? Is it just that you feel like that kind of uh, those kinds of voices about those experiences need uh, amplifying, or is it kind of like a a, a personal catharsis? Darby declared interest in Marin. Interesting. Eight million quid. Huh. Elder Saar is trash. Why am I being told about you? Okay. Let me go check my uh shortlist again. Okay, we've got someone four star potential here. Wouldn't get a work permit. Okay, that's fine. In that case, I'm not that interested in you, Roman Hynek. 20 bravery. What a brave, angry boy, though. Damn. That's cool. Ugh. My eyes are giving me some trouble today. A bit, uh, itchy. Never mind. I guess that's been something which has been on my mind for quite some time. Understandably so. There's certainly a lot to be said in, uh, in that regard. Let's see, is there anybody who's like actually genuinely interested? There's a Maradjic. Wait, hang on, I'll take it. Fresh scout reports on these two.
four star current ability. You got no pace, dude. You have no pace. I don't want to sign Jeremiah's Gallard. I like this guy, but um, thirteen grand a week. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Thirteen grand a week is very silly. Okay. Um. So as far as I can tell, the most pressing areas of improvement are it's probably left back. We have no left backs that are interested in joining. Literally none. Okay, let's let's have a look at right back then. So we get Gudara and we get You're gonna want too much money. I mean, so we get Ali Martin basically is the one that's left. Uh are you a centre back? You're five eleven. So maybe not quite. So maybe you are a wing back on support, which is what we play here. Crossing and uh, dribbling is a bit low. Work rate's a bit low, but everything else is great. He's 18 and driven. Yeah, she won't talk to me. Will not yet talk to me. And how much, if I make an offer, they still want 5 million quid. Hmm, okay. Can't deal with that just yet, then. Uh, don't with striker. Let's have a look at right wingers. We got Adrisi. Hmm. Yep, not convinced by Adrisi. Look at goalkeepers. Yeah, we've got Balkum and Pope. So Balkum. Balkum's good, but the wage demands are obviously outrageous. Like we can't can't be dealing with that. Um Pope has asked to leave, which is interesting. Wage demands again are pretty big. Uh but he's excellent, it's just he's old. And his natural fitness is 10. <laughs> so it's not perfect. Elyra Balcom wouldn't be a bad pickup. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at DMs. Or, uh, yeah. So who have we got here that's a ball winner? Maraga, Lewis, Canute, I remember being. Wait, was it Canute? Yeah. He's more of a box to box than a ball winner, though. Let's go ball winner defend. He's good at it. He's good. Franco Villalba is not a ball winner at all. He's a great player, though. He's really solid. As a box to box at 18, really good. How much would he cost? So we've got 41.8 mil. 6 mil is a lot. It is a lot. Karabelyov, I'm not convinced by. Ben Pearson. It's okay, but not quite there, I think. Lewis Travis. Good, solid ball winner. Very angry boy. Very brave boy. Determined. Fantastic work rate. Great leadership. Awesome stamina. He's so well suited to that role, but uh, very unlikely to want to actually join and probably quite expensive. Right, they want a young player in response. They actually want about seven and a half mil then, from the looks. That's actually not so bad. I was expecting it to be more than that. Because that's, that's not bad at all. As a box to box, you just don't quite have it going forward, but you've got like incredible wind up opponents, dictates tempo, gets the crowd going, refrains from taking long shots. This is a fantastic set of player traits as well. Even if nobody reads it, it's a relief getting things off your chest. I completely understand that, Jerome. That's really awesome, and I hope that goes well for you. That may well be the, uh, the kind of thing that I would do if I had the. Uh... I don't know whether it's motivation or discipline, but if I had the required attributes to write something like that. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Sean Long's half's good, but he's not a ball winner. Do you get to watch a full game? 
Hey, Victor, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, what do you mean by a, a full game, Strawberry Blonde? Do you mean as in, um... As in when you go into a game in Football Manager, do you get to watch the whole thing? You can watch the whole thing if you want, and it will take you 90 minutes. Uh, no one does that. <laughs> Almost no one does that. Um, so, yeah, you do, but you do get to watch your team play, yeah. Unfortunately, in this stream, we will not be playing any games because, um... I'm planning out the summer transfer window, and this usually takes me, like, at least six hours. So, <laughs> I won't finish it today, and so there won't be any games today, but, uh, soon. Soon. How are you doing, though, Victor? Welcome back to the stream. So, it's a bid for Ronaldo. Let's go have a look. Why don't we go have a look? A good, a good old CR7. If I can spell his name. Wait, is this how you spell his first name? I swear it is, right? Can you put Ronaldo in goal? I mean, I could do if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Unfortunately, a 39-year-old Ronaldo is at PSG on £190,000 a week. So I, I may not be able to make that one happen. <laughs> He's been at PSG on a free transfer for the last two years. And his contract doesn't run out till next year. I imagine it'll be quite expensive. He probably won't want to join Ibby. But welcome to the stream. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to cost too much money, unfortunately. Can't you bribe him for 2k a month and free burgers? 2k a month, unfortunately. It's probably not going to quite cut it. <laughs> how much would it take him to... How, how long would it take him to... Hang on. I, I want to check that, actually. Ronaldo. So he's on 190,000 a week. How long would it take him to make 2,000 pounds? It would be uh, 95, 195th of a week. What's that then? So if I go 7 times 24, that's how many hours there are in a week. 168 hours in a week. If I divide that by 95, so it's taking a 1.76 hours to earn 2 grand. <laughs> I think that's right. Because if I multiply this by 190, Oops. Anyway. Yeah, it would take him about two hours to earn two grand at the moment. It's like the lotteries that spreads the winnings over a hundred years. <laughs> Lewis Travis. I don't know what to make of him because I think he's really good. But he doesn't want to join yet, so... How much would he want? 36 grand a week. Well, that's obviously too much. I'm not paying any more than, like, 25k. Can't remember what I last told you about my save, to be honest. I also can't remember. To be honest, Victor, if you told me everything again, then I probably wouldn't remember any of it. Unfortunately, I'm just not very... Uh, my, my memory for this kind of stuff is terrible. It's really annoying. It's bad, but it's just how it is. This kid's amazing, but again, won't talk to me yet. Um, and their asking price is not going to be zero. Yeah, it's still four mil. So I've got to wait for wait for him to run his contract down a bit more. Shannon Baptiste is a box to box. He's not a ball winner. I mean, he's okay at ball winning, but he's not a ball winner. Sean Longstaff again, box to box, not a ball winner. Twenty five to thirty k is too much again. Susan and Moraga. Yeah, and Lewis Travis. Hmm. Hmm. Is anyone going to be better than this at ball winning? This also homegrown. That is a pretty big thing. I, ain't con I hadn't considered. Great person. I mean, he's a fantastic mentor. I think I think Lewis Travis is really good to have. He's he's like at least in the middle of three and a half stars because he can box the box at three and a half despite having some weaknesses as well. Because he just has unbelievable ball winning attributes. Aggression, bravery, determination, work rate, stamina, uh, tackling and marking. He's just so good. And he's not even bad at distributing either. He's just kind of mediocre. 
I did four seasons with Arsenal, won the league twice, got them into hella debt, like minus 200 million in the back. Oh, I remember you telling me about the debt now, actually. I do remember the debt. <laughs> Alright, so 15.5 mil. So if I half that, let's say they want 7.75. Actually, are the women's players in the game yet? Uh, that will be happening in probably two years, strawberry blonde. <laughs> So not yet, but it it it's in the it's in the pipeline. They've uh, uh the creator of the game did a blog post that said they're working on it. It's seven point seven five mil. So now I want to go three point seven five installments. I think we do four here. Let's try this, see what happens. Cool. Take 7.8 mil. Alright, that's definitely worth it if uh, if he will negotiate a reasonable contract. 35 to 44 grand a week. Absolutely not. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Well, I am playing, planning to play, play him in centre mid, so there is that at least. What if I go regular starter? Are okay, you happy enough with that? Good. Oh, I can only offer 13 grand because of the way my budgets are right now. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I can offer 21. Okay. Now I can offer 46. Right. So, what I'm thinking is, if you play for England, you can have 40 grand a week, Lewis. What are the chances he plays for England? He's he's not good enough for that, is he? Oh my god, Hamza Chowdhury is in the England squad, because he's at PSG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something tells me that's not happening in real life. Mount. Curtis Jones, Chowdhury. Lewis Travis isn't going to improve from here. I don't think he ever gets in the England squad. He has no secondary nationality. So I think I can afford to just do this. And just go like something like that. Relegation release calls a 7 mil. I mean, this obviously has to go up to about 20 or so. Uh, appearance fee I'm not too concerned about. You can have like 8k here. Right, it's now time to add in the clauses so that we can lower these two. That's basically the idea. So if you score 15 or more goals in a season, you can have stuff. Um, then I got offered a job uh, I couldn't turn down. Ooh, what the, What was this? You, ma you managed to bail after ruining Arsenal's uh, financial situation then. <laughs> On assist bonuses, bam. What do I want to do here? Not going to give a release clause if I don't have to. Uh, PSG. Whoa! Now try and put them in debt. <laughs> That's going to be a tough one. That's funny. Appearance uh, rate 8. That's fine. It's all fine. Give me the year bonus. International cap bonus. Yeah, you can have a fat one of those. Sure, why not? 8k or something. Fine. I just finished my first season with them. Say it went perfect. Oh, what did you win? Or is that uh, is that perhaps not exactly an accurate description? <laughs> All right, 36 though. This needs to come down a lot. Let's try. Uh, let's try like 16k a week. I say 16k a week. I want to try half a mil here. 
Let's try and keep this actually the same. Hang on. Alright, 875k. Let's try this then. Um, a fat bonus. Do I get a fat bonus? I'd like that sweet, sweet a Premier League money. <laughs> you do not get a fat bonus, Sikid, but welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, in real life, I do not have the, uh, the cast to be uh, splurging on fat bonuses for people. <laughs> Gonna do something else in uh, Mission Accomplished. I've been digging to get a splinter out and finally success. Oh, nice. That's a relief. Going for a Glory Hunter 2.0. Whoa. Glory Hunter. Okay. Cool. I get more money for winning four times group stage games than I do winning my league. F. <laughs> Yay to see it. Um, Right, let's try this. Okay. He's not that mad. That's good. So if I go to say 20k a week. And bring this down to say 800k. Bring this up. What are you saying? I think, we're, I think we can reach an agreement here. I think we can. Did you manage to get your boy Vardy in the door? <laughs> no. Vardy is not in the door, unfortunately. I don't think he's quite at Premier League level anymore. Lewis Travis for 20k a week then. Am I rushing this? I feel like I might be rushing this, but he's so good. He's so... Everything I see is insane, actually. Everything I see is fucking crazy. Hang on, does he have an injury record? Let me just check. He had two major injuries at the start, but they weren't... He wasn't out for any more than two months. A mentor, the young... What the heck? No. Oh my god. What the heck? Why would you suggest something impure like this? Right, but since 2020 he has zero injury. It's not even a minor one in four years. Social coordinator, he takes all the under-21s out to the bars. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna teach them all about chat shit, get banged out at the bars. At least you didn't sign Rooney to do. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so his performances haven't been... I mean, that year he actually got six goals and seven assists in the championship. That's interesting. And it all went so well. Got the sack on FM Mobile. Oh no! <laughs> Is FM Mobile actually like, because I know it's stripped down, but does that mean it's harder because there are fewer things you can do to make it easier? 16 natural fitness, 19 style. I'm sorry, like, he's so good. He's so good. He has an insane ball. If you play with a ball in a midfielder, Lewis Travis is insane, man. He has insane ball winning attributes. Work rate, stamina, determination, bravery, aggression. Even has great natural fitness. He's a perfectionist. He's got great leadership. 13 positioning? Yeah? And? 13 positioning is fine. You gotta bear in mind, I just got promoted to the Prem, Zakid. <laughs> I only just got promoted to the Prem. I, I'm so sure this guy's really good. He's highly consistent. Um. And. And enjoys big matches. I swear, he's actually good, I swear. This is a bit of an issue. He might get about three red cards a season. <laughs> um, and then all the player traits are so good as well. Strategic red cards to prevent becoming jaded. The man hasn't been injured in four years. Literally not been injured in four years. Or three and a half years. Like, he's invincible. So he's invincible. His ball playing is acceptable for a ball winner. He's a specialized ball winner with insane ball winning attributes. He's a leader. He's a perfect age range for this kind of player. He's got unbelievable engine. 
he injects that horse placenta <laughs> for every game. Oh dear. He's got something going on with that stamina for sure. I use FM Mobile when I'm too lazy to get my laptop out. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Has no international experience. Good, because that means I can scam him on his contract and pay him less than what he's already on. Think human growth hormone is supreme. The horse placenta is the ultimate. I have no idea. I haven't heard that, but... I don't know a whole lot about doping. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> As, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Don't have enough coaches? Are we one short? Oh, we're two short. I don't know what happened there. Are you a Premier League fan? That doesn't mean I know what goes on, okay? I don't know. I did watch the TIFO video, but I don't know any more than that. And I probably forgot what I saw in the video anyway, so. I swear he's good. I swear Lewis Travis is good. He's homegrown as well. But I gave him a 21 grand a week contract. Kante is probably a legit IRL alien. Kante, Kante's energy comes from his wholesomeness, okay? It radiates out from him. And he sucks it back in from the corrupt world. And he uh and he has a, a ceaseless engine. FMO by the smaller, sometimes hard to select the right players. I haven't got fingers. <laughs> I get what you mean, yeah, I can understand it being annoying to play. All I meant was like in football manager full version, if something's going wrong, you've got loads of stuff you can do to try and make it not go wrong anymore. Whereas I feel like in FM Mobile, if the features are stripped back, you can have fewer fewer of those things that you can have uh, to actually help you. How nice is that FM thirty in Sadio Mane? <laughs> Whoa! I want him in my in my Vanarama national team. <laughs> I'm surprised if it's that bad as bad as Salzburg though. Like they're not that bad. So if Lewis Travis goes in there, that would be kind of sick. We got Jorland in. But we are blowing up the wage budget to do this. But that was the plan. The plan was to blow up the wage budget. So, you know, that's that's that at least. He was 34, so his 9 speed was impacted significantly. I mean, even if he had, like, 17 pace and acceleration... Okay, he's 15 to 16. He's still a really underwhelming... <laughs> still a really underwhelming player for top division of Austria. Like, I mean, if you look at Pats and Daka... Obviously, I, I think... I actually don't know how good Dakar was compared to Mane in Austria. Like, I don't know how good Mane was. But, like, Dakar's lost pace here. Dakar is faster than this at the start of the game. I think he's 17-17. Um, but he's way, way better than Mane was in that save. Regional Liga, RB Leipzig. <laughs> Indeed. How's Daka done? Fucking hell. 20 goals in 33 games. Give me some of that at Leicester. Let's absolutely go. 21-22 season. Daka, 33 appearances, 20 goals. I'll take that in real life. <laughs> Something tells me that's not how it's going to go. But he must have something about him. Man City exists, but nothing else did. No New York or Melbourne. Hmm. Makes sense. Right, so we're apparently... We're, we're potentially about to sign Lewis Travis for 20k a week. On 8 mil. Okay. So that would solve the ball winner. Let's have a look at wingers on the shortlist. Back when football was pure. Football was not pure, okay? <laughs> I don't believe the football is pure. I don't have any of these. Let's have a look at strikers then. So we've still got Ko Sang Hee on the radar. You get a work permit? Yeah. Interesting. Ko Sang Hee is still a possibility then. 
Thomas Barros is fantastic as well. He's a bit of a. Hmm. Maybe not. He's just a he's just a good player. Seventeen decisions, seventeen bravery and anticipation. Seventeen strength. How pog is that? Uh I didn't tell you, but twenty twenty six World Cup. Dynamo, Dynamo Kiev wins Champions Leagues. Belarus lost uh one nil and extra Oh, it was an extra time. I did see you posted it in the Discord about uh Brazil. Thomas Barros is so good. So well, Ivar Christensen is a good player. He's not insane, but he is good. Hmm. Relatively quick. Okay finisher. Fantastic in the air. 6-4. Good bravery. Aggression's a bit low. Determination's a bit low. Hmm. Good work rate. Passing is okay. Vision 10 is a bit disappointing, but... Yeah, he's a good player, but he's not insane. Surlis is a weird one because his star rating is very low, but his actual attributes are pretty good. And then there's the boy, K Moon. The boy. Oh, and then there's some insane shit here, like Jan Busman. What a player this guy is. Oh my god, I want him so bad, but he doesn't. He's not interested. <laughs> Improves standing in the Prem, so he won't he won't join. Diazza Yakana, I wanted to sign. He costs about two mil, but he won't join. What did what was it that he said? Uh, oh, get get promoted. Okay, let's give it another go. See if we can get him in. Oh fuck! And now his price went to twenty two mil. This isn't fair. He was costing like one mil before. Jan the boss busman. True. Jan boss man. True. Right, so we can't get Diaz Yokano anymore. That's so annoying. He was literally costing like two mil. Less than two mil before. Uh, but he wouldn't talk to me. And now he costs 22 mil. But we'll keep an eye on him, I guess. I'll be in a Yeti. Probably not. Tony Martinez doesn't want to join. Twenty-two I mentioned before. Since I waited a month before talking to him, I'm now down to nine persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I like Ko Sang Hee, but the main reason why I think he's good is because he's uh Korean. And I want that Korean revenue. <laughs> <laughs> from shirts because otherwise he's just a weird player he's actually not good enough to play complete forward apparently I need some femme fatale to cut this man's wages down <laughs> true true have no audio but sign big angie boys only please I have something for you I have something for you. <laughs> Angie boy. <laughs> We're big boy only stream. That is that is what it would be like if Vivian had her way. But I I'm okay with signing short kings. Okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay. If Kante was 4-11, would you sign 8 of them? Obviously. <laughs> Angie small boy is tolerable. Exactly. Exactly. K 
Okay. How angry is Jorland? 13. He's quite big though. You know, there's this at least. He's big-ish. Okay, highly consistent, which is very nice. But I am blowing the wage budget up by signing Travis at this point, so I probably will delay his transfer a couple of times. On the scale of Kante to Keen, how angry is that ball winning midfielder? <laughs> that's funny. That's a good that's a good scale. The Kante to Keen scale. How angry is N'Golo Kante in the game? I actually don't know. I bet he still has reasonable aggression. It's actually fifteen. It's actually still fifteen aggression. He's on 275 grand a week, what the heck? He's still insane. He's just absolutely insane. <laughs> How Cantona can Cantona Cantona if he was ca to Cantona to Cantona? No, not getting that one. Don't understand that one. Alright, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and go. Aggression is at least 15. And height. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Uh, height is at least like 6'5", something like that. I'm surprised with how well you handled that. I didn't do great. But, you know, it wasn't so bad. I didn't get completely tongue-tied. Frankie de Jong and De Litt incoming. <laughs> uh... Are they? <laughs> I, I don't think so. Where the fuck is height? There it is. It's at least 6-4. Who have we got? We've got four players, and they're all trash. <laughs> Look at this guy. Whoa! <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely wild. Oh my god, he's insane. He's insane. <laughs> this is the standard of player we'd be signing. Uh, the man is 19 aggression. Well, so let's replace our determination with aggression here. Actually, I'll, I'll just remove this and the height restriction and then just go sort by aggression and just look for the tall ones. They're just the same people that were coming up before. What about you? <laughs> they can't red card all of them. Oh. Oh, but they can. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's actually think about this then. Right, so 29 is the max age. Let's have a look. At... We'll have a look at left backs. The fit our mold. What do I want from my left backs? I want him to be able to cross. I want him to be really fast. I ideally want that one from Copenhagen, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. I think he signed a new contract. I've seen four reds in a match, and to be honest, that was an extreme derby. Oh, I mean, to be fair, technically they can't red card all of them, because if you get enough red cards, then the game gets called off. What else do I want him to be able to do? I don't know if it happens in Football Manager, but I know it happens in real life, right? But yeah, it'd be interesting to see if that's implemented in Football Manager. Anybody in the world? No? 13. Anyone. Any football players. Brandon Fleming is the only one who matches this in the world. <laughs> Are you serious? What the hell? Nuno Tavares? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Wait, he's fucking trapped. 
Nuno Tavares is transfer listed for £120,000. He's not that good, which is a shame. He's alright, but he's not insane. Miguel. He's actually okay as well. He's a free. Why are all these players so bad? Did I do something weird here? I don't think I did. I, I don't understand why everyone's trash. Nuno isn't aggressive enough. <laughs> he's just not good. He's got nine marking and eight positioning and eight decisions. I don't know. Miles Kenlock is not good enough. I swear on old versions of Football Manager, he used to have 20 heading. I don't know if it was like a, a database error, but yeah, I remember him having uh, 20 heading. Don't need positioning if you have 20 aggression. Oh dear, you're covering the distance with pure anger. Rage is just going to cover that gap. Right, hang on then. Let me just go. Fall back. Attack. That's why we play on that side. Man runs angry. Shame he doesn't stop very well. <laughs> Why is everyone trash? Work permit chance is likely, or work permit required is... <sighs> I was only looking at transfer list of players. Alright, let's, let's remove that one. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Right, okay. I think I can up the, the stakes a bit now. James Wilson's a bit of a beast, though. He's a good player. Like him. Starting a third world war on the pitch. Hell yeah. Let's go. It's only Ramon. He's not rapid, but he's a really nice, well-rounded fullback. Just not interested in joining us at the moment. Let's do this then, and then just see who's really fast. Whoa. What? Oh my god, how do you exist? How do you exist? This is disgusting. <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. Christ. Okay. Something tells me we're not getting him. Only if you have five Ukrainians and five Russians in your starting 11. Oh god. <laughs> How many wins did you think I got out of 38? Oh, a PSG. I'll go 32? Nobody else is absolutely rapid. There's Leandro Diaz, who's actually really good, but... I don't know, we'll see. Felipe Jonathan, who I really like. 37, holy shit. Did you use did you use like a downloaded tactic or something? That is mad. Josh Tyman. Interesting. He's not bad at all. I might add him to the shortlist. Because he's actually really pretty decent. There's some target. Best I've done is 28 to 0 uh, non league games making me rotate. <laughs> Screw the other one. Just use the gig and press 4, 2, 3, 1. I see. The classic. That's what we're using as well. <laughs> Raul Petretta. Mm. None of these players are that rapid. That's a shame. Play this. Let's go pace. What fast boys do we have? I remember the days of three four threes, um, with three pressing forwards. Oh my god! <laughs> Omar Richards, decent. Oh wait, he was the one who was linked with. Is he from Bayern? No. Okay, I'm really confused now. Okay, never never mind. I'm being dumb. Uh, I mean, you're okay, but massively overvalued. Sam McCallum is okay. 
three winner kits in the first team already had five star under 21 regens. Wait. Already five star under 21 regens. I don't know if I'm quite following, but cool. Right, who are the fastest players I have access to? Julian Ord, potentially. Mm, no, you're trash. Meanwhile, I'm beating the Mega Clubs off on stealing my first team. You're beating them off. <laughs> Bro, I'm being Ajaxed, I see. This Marrera is a strange player. George Bella is good. I mean, I, I, I'm familiar with the name. Minimum fee of 7 mil. That's a bit much for me. But I would get a scout report, but he's fucking in America again. I keep spending... I'm going to spend too much at this break. Leonardo Lello. Okay. The three kids in my team is five star current ability. They came from the youth team or bought for like small amounts in previous seasons. Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> and they were all five star current ability. That's crazy. But starting centre backs, 40 million bids, three forwards for a range of 15 to 45, and lost my number three centre back for 20 mil to Spurs. Both starting CMs want bigger clubs. Rip in pieces. Mads Pedersen's alright. Probably not quite the level I'm looking for. Jada Silva, not bad at all. Want to buy Premier League clubs. Decent pace. Cuts inside from the wing. That's very strange. Never win a Champions League is the real strategy. <laughs> Why well, it draws too much attention to your players if you win. No one's properly rapid. It's kind of annoying. If I do this, do I get anyone who's properly rapid? Like 17, 17 level rapid. Nobody was sniffing around until I won. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you hate to see it. Francisco Silva, 18 acceleration. A 13 pace. What the hell is that? I've amassed two absolute studs at centre back, 23 year old North Macedonian and 20 year old Colombian. Whoa, nice. Bruno Acampo, nope. This is the same Marrera I was looking at before. Centre backs with 16 passing. I just tapped that ball around for fun. Very cool. Carlo de Silva's not good. Wah! Everyone's slow. Everyone who's good is slow. Well, you might actually not cost 7 mil. And do you have... No. So you would fully be a foreign player. Um... Speedy Gonzalez. I could do with Speedy Gonzalez at left back, honestly, to replace uh, Cohen Bramall. You are all right. You're well rounded. You are rapid. Oh, and you get forward whenever possible. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you know what? George Bell is actually pretty good. Let's see. Can I get him for less than his release clause? No, they're just saying release clause or bust.
So if I offer like 2 mil, make it non-negotiable, with no deadline, we'll see what happens. 35k, are you serious? Are you serious? Christ. I'm just going to remove this so everything loads faster. One hundred eighteen players match this. Mark Corrado. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm learning from Liverpool, so he's not going to be available. Jan Valery. I've got a big spider on my wall. <laughs> Hello, spider. <laughs> Actually, quite like spiders. Give him a kiss. I, I, not that much. Don't like spiders that much. Um, I missed if you looked at Makoko. I mean, no, but like he's not going to be available. It's 2024. He's just going to be insane and killing it somewhere. Wait, am I playing on a save without Makoko on it? Am I dumb? I mean, that was a misclick. Where's Yusuf and Makoko gone? <laughs> I think I might have started this save too early in the in the year. So I don't have him. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so I can't I can't show you Makoko. He's not in my game. Okay. Grada. Hmm. Robert Gunmi. Gumni. Wrench is great, but he's not going to join, is he? Alright, let's try ticking uh, transfer now. Still get I Igor Kuliao, who's really underwhelming. Ooh. First sense of acts with 15 plus passing, 18 plus positioning, 16 plus pace, paying on a combined 12k euros a week on wages. That is what we love to see. <laughs> Absolutely love to see that. Let's lower this by one, see what we get. We just get old people. What the heck? The youngest one is Enoch Quateng here, who's, I mean, he's really solid. He's a good player. I like him, actually, but um, he's on 17 grand a week, which is a lot. Julio didn't look that amazing. I'm not super convinced by him. Monte is a centre-back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Senna Gresham, meh. Ship him to the old folks home. True! True. Neither of you are particularly rapid. You're not bad. It's good marking, good tackling, good uh, positioning, good defensive player, reasonable crossing. Not that quick, but he's alright. I'm not seeing anyone here who's blowing me away. So I think I'm gonna... Untick that. Let's have a look at some goalkeepers. So I don't need to do either of these. So I'll remove those. Homegrown. Max 25k. Let's just highlight attributes for sweeper keeper defend. See what we get. 
so sad I have five retirements. Stop keeping the oldies around so long then. <laughs> Seems like you're keeping them around too long. So six million a year on wages. Six million a year. Is that a lot? Hang on. I guess I guess at that club it would have been a lot. Thirty eight games in the season, how many league goals do you think Holland got? Oh god, uh, I'll go with fifty one. It's another one month of Messi's wage. Keck W. <laughs> Sarkic is on ridiculous money. Rodak is I mean he's good, but he's on too much money as well. Yeah, I'm going fifty one goals, uh fifty one league goals for Holland. 120k a week. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. For anyone else? Any young keepers that are going to pop out the woodwork? Nope. Liam Roberts. Interesting. Liam Roberts and Kieran O'Hara. <sighs> Unreasonably expensive. Okay. Remove this and see who we got. So we've got Marcus Dewhurst, who's on the loan list to Porto. <laughs> okay. Danny Everson, who we've seen already. He's all right. He's pretty good, actually. The game hired the stupidest coach for the for the NT national team. <laughs> Four one three two, but it's uh three times centre mid. Nice, <laughs> nice. A DM and three centre mids. That seems big brain to me. I mean, it's just a diamond, but the AM is a centre mid. Like, it ain't that deep, you know. Okay, no one else is really that interesting to me right now. Omaradjic is great, but it's going to cost eight. I mean, it's only eight and a half mil, actually. That's not that much for a really good quality center back. But it's just not the area that we need to focus on right now. It's consistent and enjoys big matches. The solid all-around player. But he's not very angry or, or jumpy. Starts the 31-year-old left back with 8 pace. 37-year-old right back with 2 pace. <laughs> 2 pace. Oh my god. I'm afraid my uh my memory of of the things that I say is not is not good enough that I can uh that I can comprehend your joke, Victor. So, unfortunately, I do just constantly forget everything that I say. And I, I won't be able to uh, to comment on that, you know? <laughs> Said I was your favourite. Hmm. I don't know what's happening right now. That's what I remember. Hmm. Now, that one... I may have to doubt your your powers of recollection. <laughs> also, I've just seen Burnley got absolutely spanked by Stoke. I'm hoping that means they're going to not get promoted and then Pope will kick up even more of a fuss. Me, Ducks, chat. Absolutely not. It's not that deep. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. All right, Burnley did not get promoted. That should mean that Nick Pope is absolutely fuming right now, and hopefully Dwight McNeil as well. I would love to have him in at the club. I don't think that's going to happen, though, somehow. Unfortunately, he would be incredible. He's wanted by Chelsea. You saw the lowest wages at your club then. Mm. 
Let United have Holland. Let them pay ridiculous wages because apparently Riola want a wage around five hundred grand a week. Five hundred grand a week to win the league. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna. Be, it, it doesn't matter how much they're paying him. It's gonna be a sad time for everyone if he ends up there. Jaffet Tanganga. He's looking all right. You know, he's not stupidly. Oh wait, his value isn't ridiculous. Um, Chelsea always recruiting the best butts in the game. Need to be league leaders in warming the bench. Five hundred k in this economic reality. I mean, this is suggesting the idea that the wealth of billionaires operates in economic reality. I'm sure that Roma, Roman Abramovich is just fine. Agents need to be shot for what they're doing to to wages, and clubs need to stop paying them. Um. Yep, I mean, I, I, I definitely agree that agents are just pretty cancerous, but at the end of the day, I'm not sure exactly what can be done about it. I mean, unless you regulate them out of existence, I guess, that might be a possibility. But in terms of the clubs, I, I don't know if there is anything you can do. If you don't pay someone else, well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Who's the other club that missed out on promotion? Who's David Luke? Whoa, he's a ball winner. Hog. To prevent clubs like Barca just... The wage collapse globally. Rent. I mean, Barca are destroying themselves from... <laughs> because of the wage cap. <laughs> I'm not saying that the wage cap has really made that issue. Like, you know, that issue is a lot bigger than that. But, uh... They've been forced into some very tough decisions this summer. <laughs> Original Barcelona, 2008 Portsmouth. Oh, Jesus. Yikes. Brentford did not get promoted. Josh De Silva is therefore available. Good player. On 42 and a half grand a week. Maybe not then. Global wage cap at 300k a week and blocks on ways around it via incentives. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a strong opinion on that either way. I don't know uh, what that would do, but I definitely think yeah, like uh, taking a global approach makes sense. I can see that. Wage caps are impossible to impose. I don't know anything about the NFL, so I don't know about that. Okay. Let's just hit another continue. Explain to me how you'd spend 300k a week for a five-year contract without, say, making his own country club to golf at. Wait, what do you mean, Zakid? Um, FFP is failing UEFA, they need to develop a new system. Seems about right. 
Wait, how the fuck did you end? Oh, in the champion clubs in the Champions League. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I still do want to make sure that doesn't get triggered. <laughs> so I'll say an asking price of forty k, and then auto reject. I'm doing it again, everyone. You can get fucking triggered about it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> What am I being triggered about? Blowing your finance? Wait, how am I blowing my finances? I'm just preventing a player from leaving on an £80,000 release clause I accidentally put in the contract. <laughs> 80 grand. what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> oh my god. No, it's alright, I, I got called out by, uh, by Vivian uh, for using the release clause cheese. Um... So, you know, make of that what you will. Lewis Travis has decided to come in. Well, I'm delaying it. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. He's so expensive on wages, but I just need to blow up the wage structure and just buy the best players I can for this season. So if we stay up, we're going to be fine. And I have done it where I've not done this step up in wages in the Premier League, and it's not good. Stinky cheese. I don't see that one very often. I do not see that emote very often. I can barely afford a candy bar for my squad after a game. <laughs> Poku Poku transfer saga set to develop. I don't think it is actually. I think that's fake news. Because I'm not selling him for nine and a half mil. My FM policy regarding players is to sign them for three years at most and sell them for a high afterwards. Fair enough. I mean, a good way of making money. I just think it's a shame to lose some players that you enjoy using. Um, for the sake of uh, moving them on, necessarily. I would sign five years, and after three years, I either rerun or sell. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I, I almost never offer, like, three-year deals unless the player's already, like, 30 or something, or 31. Then I, I, I try to get everyone on, like, at least a four-year deal. And if you're a young player, I want you on eight if we're not in the Premier League yet. <laughs> I want a contract extension after promotion and a five-year deal. I want you here for eight years. I think Poku's here for actually ever because his contract was pretty nice. I think he might have another six years left or something. Let me check that. Poku. It's a 2029, so he's got five years left. And he signed the contract two years ago. <laughs> you love to see it. Bo Christofferson is an exceptional football player, but does not yet want to join. So we'll have to keep an eye on Bo Christofferson. That is quite some playmaking attribute. Uh, attributes. Physical is not great, but five star potential. Oh, high injury proneness. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. Sign at 18, that makes them 22, and I'm re upping them, and then next contract takes them to 27. Second contract rolls them to 32. Hmm. How is Poku doing all right, or has he become a bystander? Poku has come on leaps and bounds, and he was an absolute monster last season. He was such a monster that I ended up having to pay him like 80 grand because he actually hit 30 combined goals and assists. Uh, so if I sort by goals and assists here, you see Poku, 17 goals, 17 assists. What an absolute beast. What a unit. So he's going to be our starter going into uh, the Premier League. And I'm quite happy about that.
captain as well, I guess. I don't think he is captain. I don't think his leadership's that great. Uh, so you're back home, not at the duck pond anymore. Sadly not, we had to leave the ducks behind. So yeah, I am home. Might have got lost with where you at in life. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm back, I'm back. No more ducks, sadly. And the tortoise shell guinea pig that we saw in the, uh, in the pet shop. I went to a pet shop one day. And... And we didn't, we didn't get to have him. <laughs> Jorland is in. I'm going to confirm this one. He's only on six grand a week. Super worth. So we've got, uh, we've got Albert Jorland in. My ex always used to drag me into the pet shop. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was next to the grocery, uh, grocery shop. Oh, interesting. All right, fair enough. Yeah, no, we, we drove out for 10 or 15 minutes to go look at a pet shop. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> we had nothing to keep an animal in while we were out there, so we couldn't actually buy any of them. But there was this really lovely guinea pig. Um, tortoiseshell colours. Uh, just look very happy and healthy and very cute. Uh, so, I missed them. <laughs> But I forgot to take a picture of them as well, so that's kind of sad. But hey, we've got Albert Jorland in. Isn't that cool? I'm happy with it. Took three hours to get our weekly shopping done. <laughs> oh dear. Not good enough. Crapper. A scout says we should look at this report on our affiliate. Okay. I should check out my affiliate as well. I click the button, everyone's half a star. <laughs> oh dear. It only takes me 20 minutes to do my weekly groceries. It usually takes my mum over an hour, to be fair, just walking around the shops. She's not the most urgent of people when it comes to things like that, but that's okay. Leandro Diaz, not a possibility. Josh Tymon, actually very doable. Nice long throw on him. He's not very quick though, that's the only thing. I feel like he doesn't just get forward whenever possible. I'm not sure. It's fine on the shortlist for now. Jada Silver's affordable, but expensive on wages. Gun Gumni doesn't want to join. Quateng wants ridiculous wages. So does Monte. Okay. I didn't see anything there that was particularly great. Oh, wait. This is way too loud. I'm sorry. I turned the last song up. There we go. $3, a brick of chocolate. Well, we had $30 budget for candy. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Buying art supplies. <laughs> I mean, was this every time? I think I think it was if it was every time, then that's a little bit uh, excessive, you know. Really? Two and a half five? That's 50k and 500 quid a week. I mean, my scouts are saying this guy's brilliant. I'm not sure. Every time for three years. Oh my god. <laughs> Love the music as usual. Very cool. Oh, Cole Palmer. He played against us, didn't he? He's probably going to be better in FM22. Okay, hang on. Let me sort by ability here and just get rid of the trash.
Not interested in any two star players. Two and a half, you have to be five star potential. Otherwise, I don't care. Uh, if you're three star, three star, I don't really care. Jake Brim is just stupidly expensive on wages. Let's sort by wages. If you're demanding over 25, I don't care for right now. Joe Bryan's not quite good enough in FM anyway. But yeah, I can understand that would be a bit jading after a while, Zakid. <laughs> uh, Dewsbury Hall and Loftus Sheet don't want to join, depressingly. Still keep an eye on Dewsbury Hall, though. It wasn't that bad? Hmm. Okay, I mean, fair enough then. That's good. Just hilarious recounting the stories about her. <laughs> fair enough. So you're quick, you're agile. Vision's bad, injury susceptibility. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced by Kota Sec. Okay. So I can write in Jorland now because Jorland is in. Um I can write Jorland on my dock, which means we need maybe one more striker. Depends on if we can get any Kasema contract, which we'll see in July. Uh, we need a maybe a left winger, uh, maybe a backup right winger. And then apart from that, we need the DM, which I think is going to be Lewis Travis. Uh, we need right backs and left backs. You have audio now? Very nice. Welcome to the stream, Vivian. I hope you're well. Oh, there was someone I wanted to check up on. Because he's very... He's very pog. I think he's pog anyway. The best av ability is availability. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too much money. He's 28 now. How pog is this? 20 determination. He, he starts with 20 teamwork and 20 work rate. Right? He's got 18 stamina. 15 strength. No angry boys anymore. I did not announce this. I just want to say Zakid has made this up and I'm not going along with it because we are still signing the highly angry Lewis Travis. Is that Scandinavian Kante? <laughs> His tackling's only 12, so not quite, but... Uh, He's a hard worker, for sure. Okay, I have to go. Uh, gotta get up early tomorrow. No worries, Jerome. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much again for the sub. That is super generous. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, take it easy. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your... Well, I guess you won't have much of the rest of your day if you got to get up early tomorrow. But I hope everything's good. Let me go to Copenhagen and just check I'm remembering things correctly. Ben Davis, am I? Am I interested in Ben Davis? Not really. Okay. Um Look like let me actually find them like this. Yeah, there we go. Cause they have a fullback that I really like. Yeah, this guy is Zaidu Sanusi. He just signed a new deal, did he? March, April, May, April, May, June, July, August, September. End of September, he'll probably be available. So he'll probably be available in January. But he's so good. He suits it. He would be such a continuity replacement for Bramall, just like a straight upgrade. It's a shame. But I'll be back for sure. Happy to hear, Jerome.
Lewis Travis, I already, I already delayed this once. I think I just take the plunge. I think I just take the plunge and hope he never plays for England, otherwise I have to sell him. <laughs> He's never played in the Prem before, which is a bit of an issue. But I think we get him in. All right. Well, I've pulled the trigger on uh, Lewis Travis. So Travis is going to be our first choice DM. I suppose the issue is we're running out of places to sign tall, angry boys in because I'm signing fullbacks and wingers now. They're my main, th main things. So many bonuses. Yeah, but so many bonuses he's not going to trigger. I did, I, did, uh, I did take a look at all that, Vivian. I added most of them in. If you go back here... Seasonal landmark goal bonuses for 15 to 30 goals. He's not going to hit that. He's a ball winning midfielder. Assist bonuses. He's not going to get 25 assists. Um, goal bonus of 3k. I don't really care about. International cap bonus. I Hopefully he's never going to play for England. Um, a new sub fee of 1.8k. Whatever. So yeah, I mean, I really think like that's not too bad. <laughs> Most of these are never going to trigger. The true angry boy is the left wing with 20 aggression because you just know he's a reject striker who only has speed. <laughs> Let's have a look for him then. A left winger with 20 aggression. Let's go have a bit of a search. Remove that. Remove homegrown. Wait, where the, what the hell happened there? Okay, whatever. Let me just do that. Bam and bam. Turning him into a wing back, right? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Probably. Yes, right. So let's clear this. Go. Aggression is at least 20. We actually do have a. Are there 2,000 left wingers with 20? Oh, sorry. No, I'm on match zero out of one. Right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Are there any 20 aggression? None. Literally none with 20 aggression. 19? None. 80? 5. <laughs> We've got a 15 year old at Chelsea who's a very angry left wing boy. Actually, you want it by Brighton for transfer. How much would he cost? Docile left winger. 15 decisions. Hell yeah. He's got no pace. Why are Brighton interested in a transfer? He costs 9 mil. What the fuck? What are they doing? Is he promising? No. Bizarre. Alright, everyone here is under 18. <laughs> okay. Lad at Biggles Wade. Excellent. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not seeing anyone who's too inspiring right, right now. He can on someone in the crowd, and with at least 15 decisions, he'd hit the actual idiot in the crowd. <laughs> nice. That's what you want to see. Dejan Drazic, who actually has a good scout rating. Versatile, but get a work permit. 17 aggression, can play out on the left. He's actually quite good. <laughs> and he's not very expensive either. He's actually not that bad. But I'm not signing him. <laughs> Fuck that. I wouldn't mind having, like, an actual just winger. Whoa, 10 players that match that. That's wild. Oh my god, you're a bit good. Jesus. Bruno Tavares. He's a, just a basic winger on the right. He's actually good. He's really decent. I'm guessing he's not interested, though. Let's see, how much would he actually cost? What the fuck? <laughs> 30 mil? Are you serious? You want that unsporting personality trait, having low professionalism, sportsmanship, and high dirtiness. I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> Concert Chow's great, but I don't really want to rely on loans. Gabriel Pirani has... Brilliant technicals in a few areas. Underwhelming mentors except for the exact ones he needs. And great pace and agility. 
This is a very specialized winger. He feels like a bench player for a good team. He's a bit of a he's a Dan James. <laughs> Which for a newly promoted team is not so bad. Who are you? Underwhelming, okay. Oh Jesus, my head hurts. Alright, time for a break. I'll be back in a minute, everyone. Uh, I'm going to go lie down. My head hurts. <laughs> Hopefully it will hurt less after a minute. So be right back. I can still be on mic and shit, but I won't really be able to read chat because I'm just lying down and chilling. Ow, I hit my head on the wall. <laughs> Fucking... Ah. I don't know if you can even still hear me from here. Uh, possibly. Holy shit, my head is literally like pulsing right now. Like when you uh like when you cry and you have face is like pulsing it's like that it's actually nasty <laughs> i'm not not doing too well it's kind of rough I think when I'm streaming, my face gets, like, very tense. And that kind of compounds the issue. I don't know. Okay. Let's try it again. Huh. <sighs> okay, I'm back. See how things go. May need to be uh I may need to cut it a little bit short today, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. What about you? Eh, underwhelming. Brain's not trying to leap out of your school now. <laughs> not quite, not quite. At least I'm not feeling it. I'm going right wing. Why am I doing this? Like, I don't need a right winger. Holy shit. What's your release clause? 29 mil. Shame. This kid's pretty crazy. Anthony Bray, 17 year old at Dortmund. Yeah, he's a bit good, isn't he? He's 17 years old in English. God damn it. Savio is a wonder kid. Is exceptionally good. Could play on the left as a winger for us. He is very good. I don't know. Not sure what, what to make of him. Pedence is, yeah, pretty great. Okay. Takes a lot of energy being this awesome. <laughs> Keck W. Imagine thinking I'm awesome. How cringe. <laughs> I am, in fact, highly cringe. And not very awesome. Yad Mohammed. <laughs> Not the first thing I'd have thought of when I saw a Swedish name. Lebanese. Interesting. You'll probably be playing for Lebanon soon then, because I don't think their team's all that good. Indeed. Lebanon a shit show IRL. I can't believe I can believe it. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know I see why am I? I don't know what that means. 
Oh, Le Lebanese fleeing to Scandinavia. Okay, I see. And then ending up at Leicester. <laughs> 45k for David Barroso. Hmm. I don't know. Not convinced the current ability is there. In case you missed it. Oh, okay, I see. Whoa, that's crazy. Third and fourth didn't get promoted. Oh, and the manager's gone. The manager is gone. <laughs> I imagine Burnley will uh, approach me. For the, uh, for the role. God, can we just, have, can we have a bit of, a cheeky bit of Dwight McNeil in my life? Wants to leave the club? I don't know, a cheeky bit of Dwight McNeil wouldn't be, wouldn't be too, too bad, you know? He's got an England cap, which means I can't scam him with uh, promises of bigger contracts if he plays for England, unfortunately. So he is out of our price range, really. But it would be quite nice to have a cheeky bit of Dwight McNeil. Oh, well. Oh, hey, does that mean uh, they're promoted? Fulham have gone up. Madness. They finished sixth and they've got promoted. Insane. Let's go have a look at non-promotion release clauses. See if we got anything there. Clear this, clear this, and just go... Uh, non-promotion release clause. So that's going to be in contract clauses. Nick Pope when He's 32! He's 32 and he has 10 natural fitness. I don't know, Vivian. <laughs> I don't know if I'm signing Nick Pope, okay? I don't know. Like, his legs are going to fall off and he's going to be useful for about six months. And he's going to be really expensive on the wages. Active non-promotion release clause. This is what I'm looking for, really. Let's go uh, 10 mil. See if we've got any championship players there. Ben Wiles. Nick Pope or Jamie Vardy in FM right now, you must sign one. <laughs> no, I, I actually don't have to. The wild thing is I actually don't have to. He's a shot stopper, legs barely matter. No, I'm sorry, I don't want to see grey numbers, okay? I'm not... Right. Nick Pope, come on then. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. Thank you. Right. This is going to go dark grey within a year, okay? Look, there's this grey number here, I can't see this over here. It's just going to make me feel ill, okay? I can't, I can't be dealing with that. I can't be dealing with it. No, 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 not about flair. I said if it goes over to acceleration, okay? God damn it, I wasn't talking about fucking flair. Uh, whatever. He's good. He's a good shot stopper right now. I've also got the option of Ellery Balkum, who is also... I mean, he's not Nick Pope levels of good, but he's quite good now. He's like 25. I could sign him for like 2 million instead. So I have him instead. And he isn't going to go dark grey in his acceleration in 6 years. It'll be good for you. No, you won't. No, you won't. He's got 10 natural fitness. It's it, This is fake news. He'll retire still good. Not true. Absolutely not true. He's going to drop to like 3 pace in about 2.5 years. what colour your heart is. I mean, true. <laughs> I do have no room for ageing footballers in my heart, this is true. Uh... 
He's not running it. No, that's not. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, active relegation release calls. Let's have a look for any of those. That should be wrapped up. Let's have a look at 10 mil with the best players or the highest value players. Iago. Hmm. Oh, shit. 4.9 mil, but he doesn't want to join? One absolute knob. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? He's just been relegated from the Bundesliga and he won't join? A team that's getting promoted? Oh, my. What an absolute idiot. He's sick. Oh, that's so annoying. 15 minutes to reach the tunnel. <laughs> Something like that. Manu Kone asked to leave. Restart current ability. I'm going to pass. Devonish. Hmm, underwhelming. Akolo. You're alright. Both sided winger. Eh. He's at Augsburg. I don't think he's got great life decision skills to start with. <laughs> okay. Dresden. Trash. Brandon Mason. Trash. Everyone. Trash. Okay, relegation release calls not helping. That's annoying. Any other ideas of how to look for players? Because I'm a bit stumped right now. Dovniak will still not join us. <laughs> He's still insane. You have to have a striker still and a left uh, wing, left back. Uh, I'm looking for most urgent positions are fullbacks. Uh, I'm also looking for a potential goalkeeper, um, backup and sort of rotation wingers, and potentially a star striker. If there's one that pops up that's really crazy. Like, if I can end up getting Busman by the end of the window, that'd be immense. Timo Horn. Keck W. I wonder if he's still at um, Cologne in this. He is. I mean, he's not bad. He's on 56 grand a week, though, which is a bit outrageous, I'll be honest. He's not playing anymore for Cologne, interestingly, even though he's marked as an important player. Hands off, Timo. <laughs> he's only got 10 aggression anyway. Didn't play much. Might be a quality target. He's over 50 grand a week. I don't think so. Uh-oh. Drama. Oh my god. Martin, please. Please join my football team. Please. You'll be my right back. Please. Banned. Pepe laughed. Wait, what? A Colne, Colne and Cologne, not the same place. They're actually not the same place. Have I been trolled? <laughs> I literally just thought that Cologne was the English uh, spelling of, of Colne. I actually thought they, would, they all just said, okay, okay, I'm not dumb. All right, all right, that's a relief. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, he's not great, actually. The star rating lied to me. He's 
a bit underwhelming. No, he's not. He's not underwhelming. That's harsh, but I'm seeing 10 pace, 9 crossing, and 8 vision, and 8 off the ball. That's that's a shame. He's almost good. I've only got Cyrillic in English. Can't do the O for German. Ah. That's why I capped. Okay. But English is bad. English is bad. Interesting. <laughs> Just trying to think of stupid shit to say about Köln. I see. Or Cologne. I don't know what... Do you pronounce it Köln in Germany, or is it just pronounced Cologne, but it's spelt like that? My brain. I knew it was getting, it would get Vivian mad. Yeah, I mean that was fairly obviously the intention there. That would that was not the most uh, uh, expertly hidden intention. <laughs> First one. Wait, it is actually Köln then. Or co coal. I can't fucking say that. What the heck? Co coal. <laughs> I don't like it. My tongue. My tongue gets caught. I can't say that. Like I, I actually can't. I mean, I mean, it's like like that was a good faith attempt to try and pronounce that. But it just does not work with my dialect. My hideous American accent, you can do it. No, no, hang on, hang on, right? Because there are some things that Americans can say very easily that we can't, right? So, for example, the difference between wool and wall in my language, in my dialect, is very small. If you're American, those words sound very different. <laughs> Learn to roll your R's. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't roll my R's. <laughs> well, well, God damn it. <laughs> I'm being trolled. Pepe laugh. You signed a new deal, right? Yeah, that's annoying. Ow, my ears hurt. Almeida. Pretty good, actually. I like Almeida. It's a bit faster. He's even good at heading. Why are you good at heading? Stop being good at heading. You got six fucking jumping reach. You're five foot seven, but you decided I'm gonna be good at heading. What a waste. Anticipation's a bit low, but crossing and dribbling are kind of at that, that minimum acceptable level. First touch is decent. Playmaking's quite decent. Centre back with six jumping. Yeah, I think perhaps not. I think he might be a fullback. <laughs> We play wing back support. Are there any glaring weaknesses? Off the ball is a bit weak. Pace isn't great. I mean, what if I compare him to Juanola? Because that's the thing. I feel like it's actually quite hard to upgrade on him. Like, he is decent. Fine under three. Oh my god. From the girl that only wants to sign big angie boys, you're fine with playing a five foot seven centre back in a three. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Don't mind me, just choking on my own saliva. Alright, he is better than Juanola then, really. He's just not quite got the pace, but apart from that, he's a better player. Once signed a right back, who was left foot only. Had two dribbling, with 18 jumping. <laughs> what, you should be? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Arcos, I like him. Two million quid. 
Way. Two million quid. Looks pretty decent to me. I mean, he is 20, so he's not going to improve that much, but I like these mentals down here. Six off the ball, actually, is pretty bad, but... I just said he'd be fine. <laughs> and threes are cool. I don't have a problem with back threes. I'm just surprised that you've uh that you've dared to deviate from big angry boy philosophy. <laughs> Shit. A decent at football. Pablo Dragon. Dragon these no <laughs> god damn it. Uh I had to say it before anyone else did, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't face palm Zakid. You were gonna say it if I didn't, okay? Don't be giving me this. Eight crossing, kind of sag. Big Angie boy is only strictly necessary for the center, central center back. I see. The more you know. Aquilon. Yeah, very good player. Okay. Any of these actually interested in joining my football team? Actually, a fair few of them are. You, not that good. Okay. Almeida, who's eh, right. Pantano, who is. Eh. Aquilon, who is pretty cool, actually. I quite like him. 18, light-hearted, fullback. 17 decisions. This is a shame, because everything else is great. Except the 8 off the ball. Oh my god, why do all these fullbacks have trash off the ball? 7. Alright, you've got 12. Pablo Dragon. I think he's the best one. Am I, am I actually about to sign Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh some streamers in here. What the heck? This is slander. You missed a comment. It was not it was not anything uh anything that's worth repeating. Uh six and a half mil, that's not bad at all. If you actually want to join. He actually does want to join. Five grand! Are we signing him? I think we might be signing him, everyone. He's five foot seven, and he's not that angry, but I think we might be signing Pablo Dragon. I've heard you say about young English foot. I haven't said anything! This is absolute fake news. Oh my god. He's a midfielder, though. Is he? Is he a midfielder? He actually does look like a bit of a midfielder there, doesn't he? <laughs> 18 years old, resolute. I rate that. And considering I don't have any right backs, if I ended up getting one better later in the window, then I would still be able to... Uh, he would be like the understudy. Although he wants to be a star player, doesn't he? Does not dive into tackles PPM. I mean, that's... I'm not too upset about that. His aggression and... Well, actually, I mean, I guess with 16 bravery, I kind of would want him to do that, but... At 16 bravery, yeah, it's not great. But I don't think that's the end of the world. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's actually quite... <laughs> he actually is a center mid. <laughs> You're actually right. <laughs> I can't. I can't deny that one. Look at this DLP. Oh my, 18 decisions, 17 balance. And he's actually got some playmaking as well. He's actually a DLP on defend. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? This is so weird. He's actually a DLP. I can't believe it. Well, either way, if he's good and he wants five grand, I think he's worth getting in. Because he's my favorite out of the ones I've just looked at. Inverted wing back in a punch, in a pinch. 
Turn him into a midfielder so then we can turn him into a wing back. <laughs> oh, that sounds like that does sound like the Vivian way. <laughs> That's funny. He is a good he's a good fullback as well though, isn't he? He is a good fullback as well. The Argentine Josh Kimmick. Actually kind of true. Actually kind of true. And I think Kimmick's quite good, so you know, I'll I'll take that. So six and a half mil they wanted. So that means I'll do three point two. And 3.3. I'm, I'm going all out on installments this year. I don't give a fuck. We're in the Prem. One of the best DMs going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm aware he's quite highly regarded. Six and a half mil. Good. All right, let's see what Dragon actually wants then. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I have to actually sign the meme. I hate to see it. Garmendia. He's great. Minimum fee 14 and a half is too much. He's actually really good though. Let's compare him to Dragon. I think he's better than Dragon, unfortunately. <laughs> um, He's actually not better than Dragon. I mean, like, he's a bit quicker. But he's actually not better, and he's older. Dragon's actually Pog. Let's go. That's actually epic. Okay, nice. Alright, well that's a nice uh, nice pickup. How good's his weak foot? If he's got good versatility, I, I, so I'm going to wait for the scout report to see if he has good versatility. Because if I can teach him to play left back and centre mid, that'd be fucking sick. That'd be so good. Three more players want to leave now. Oh no. You're being absolutely shafted. You hate to see that. Oh shit. I don't know if he's going to get a work permit. It didn't say anything about him not getting a work permit. Oh, work permit likely. Brilliant. That's good. Alright, so Dragon is looking like he may well be our right back next year. Let's compare him to Juan Ola. He might be worse, you know. Is actually quite possible. Let's have a look. He's not worse. He's not worse than Juanola. I think he just about edges it for me, just because of these two. He is a little bit better than Juanola. But you know what? I'm actually happy enough with Juanola to keep him around as a as a backup. He's gonna get a three year extension. He's on one grand a year. Sorry, one grand a week. <laughs> um Unless we get a good bid from Millwall, which doesn't seem likely. I think I might actually keep him around because I think he's being underrated. So, yeah. I'm actually okay with writing in Juan Ola as the backup right back. And then we will have Dragon as the first choice. South America is basically auto permit. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Yeah. South Africa. South Africa breaks my heart. It, it truly breaks my heart. How could how could they do this to me? Why? <laughs> Why would he get a work permit? Why? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need him in my life. And he costs 775k. Please. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so sad. He literally, he won the eight African Confederation Cup last year and he still can't get a work permit. It's, it's disgusting. Begging isn't going to get you him. No, I know. I tried begging him and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't down for it, unfortunately. Ha. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, it's pretty depressing to just see him there and know that this guy exists. And that he's not going to play for my football team because of work permits. I can't even blame Brexit on this one. Where's that max persuasion? Unfortunately, I cannot persuade him if he literally can't play football. That is the limit of, uh, of my abilities to uh, persuade. Hey, Iron Bubbles. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Glad to have you here. 
It's not going too badly, thank you. I hope you're doing alright. Uh, okay. What am I going to promise you? Send you on a language course. You don't know the language. Ooh, adaptability is bad. Inconsistent. Anything good here? He does have good versatility. Okay. What do we think to this? I am struggling with the adaptability a bit. Because if it's going to take him a year to get uh, accustomed to the to the Prem, then I think we need another right back as well. In which case we can't offer him star player. So that's kind of uh, a problem. But if we have Juanola already at the club, I could like just phase him in. As long as he doesn't want star player. Do you have any other South, Af uh, South American speakers in the squad? Let's see. Let's see. I'm glad to hear you're doing alright, Iron Bubbles. Um. Oh, Leonardo Fernandez is leaving because I can't get him to stay. Oh, he, did, well, he speaks Spanish. What does Dragon speak? Is it... Yeah, it's also... Obviously, it's Spanish. So, yeah, I do have some Spanish speakers. Obviously, I have the three Spaniards. Uh, Moya's probably not going to be here, but... I've got Juanola, Marin, Fernandez, if I can manage to get him to stay. Do you put him in that social group? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I guess the issue is, like, I need instant impact, you know? I don't know if he is an instant impact player. I might need to sign two right backs and phase him in, but I get a ready made Prem player as well. Sign him, loan another guy in. That's not the that's not the worst idea. The loan leaves and you get that, yeah. That's not the worst idea, but I could also, like, sign a good player and then they can compete until Dragon becomes better and then just sell the good player and make money instead of loaning. But that that could be a good a good way to do it. And I suppose if push comes to shove, then that is, that is something I could do. And also, Juano is not that bad. We've just seen that. He's not that bad. Uh, I would like you to be regular starter and then promise to become a star player in two years. How about that? What are we saying? Whoa, okay, let's go important player then. He wouldn't accept any lower than star player. The man is insane. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that's... <laughs> we'll revisit it in a month. <laughs> we will revisit Dragon in a month. Okay. Fair enough then. Rip that thought experiment. Well, nah, we'll still get him. We'll still get him. It, it'll just be a bit later. Henry on Yukuru. Wait. Is he a free? Is he actually a free? He's pretty good. That thing was shot down faster than a Brexit. What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> Colchester in the pram? True, Matreya. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, Anya Kuru is good. He doesn't want to join. Okay, doesn't want to join. It's fine then. Sheriff Medeb, good player. Not going to be able to sign him permanently, so I don't really care. Probably the same with Raymond. Was there any reason not to give it to him? Uh, I didn't think he was going to be able to be a star... Well, firstly, right, I didn't think he was actually going to reject important player. Um, secondly, his adaptability was bad. So I was concerned about him being a star player because if he ha is going to get mad about not playing every game for the first six months uh, until he beds in, then that's going to be a problem. You can. Well, no, I mean... 
th there are dynamics issues with that, aren't there? If you're not going to play the player enough. Julian Biancone is a free transfer. Three and a half star right back. But really, he's a centre mid, isn't he? <laughs> that then gets converted to a wing back. <laughs> uh, six one, only twelve jumping reach though. He's not really a centre back for me. Ah, uh, don't know. Ten off the ball, underwhelming technicals. Yeah, not not massively convinced. I have like five star players with Forest and rotate them normally. Well, that's okay. We can go back and get him in a month's time. I'm not too upset about it. I'm sure we'll be fine. Tm to right back is more Sergi Roberto since can make to play a lot of right back as a kid. Also, I see. Oh, Cassidy's being recommended to us <laughs> after we sold him to West Ham for ten mil. He would now cost us six mil to bring back. He's not bad, good physicals, but not a ten million pound player. That's for sure. They don't go upset any higher rate than important players in my experience. Okay. Well, fair enough then, but. We will go back in for him as a star player in a month. Okay. There's no one there I care about. I'm just hoping there's going to be some point at the win, uh, some point in this window when things start to flow, because uh, it's feeling very. Uh, I I'm getting a bit uh, anxious about <laughs> about signing players. You know what I mean? Like, my my business isn't done, and it's almost the end of May. <laughs> I don't know. That's just that's me. That's just me. Um. So we've got we've got the defensive mid sorted. And we got the str one striker sorted. Yeah, one striker and one DM. So we still need two left backs, two right backs, potentially a goalkeeper, two wingers. I do my business on Regen Day, raiding even poorer countries than Ukraine. <laughs> Unfortunately, youth intake day is not so clean on uh on FM twenty one as it is on FM thirteen, so yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know this. Uh Colchester actually finished tenth in the championship in two thousand six seven. Respectable. Respectable. But we broke that record. Cool. Record highest points total without winning the title. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's lovely. We we got ninety eight points without winning the league. Great. Uh, regen dates is still really odd, idiotic in modern FM. Why is that? Poku gets a new assist record. Nice. Harry Ung. Oh my god, what a mistake! He's on eight grand. Please get out of my football team, please. You cheated and changed your nationality to Singaporean. Okay, you cheated. Get out of here. You can figure out the youth squad preseason, etc. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I kind of agree with that. That would be a more convenient way for it to be. Marrera claims championship player of the year, and I've just signed a striker over his head. Because <laughs> he's not even good enough to play complete forward. I just take carrying 14, 15 year old in February through to June. Okay. The AI is stupid, they'll play the one star kids randomly. Oh, yeah, okay, I kind of understand that. Like, halfway through the year is not very. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we got some contract extensions going on. 
We got some absolute contract extensions. Let's go. <laughs> also, let's have a look at the uh, team of the year. Who did we get? We got Froman, Marin, Thompson, and Marrera. The rest of it's all Wolves at Seth McNeil. Christ. Who isn't needing a contract? Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, look at this. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Maybe one stream we can watch a full game and be fans. You know what? That's that's not the worst idea. If we have something like if we have something like um say we're competing for a title or something at some point in the future. Like a huge game. We could watch in full game and have like uh have other scores up. On the screen. <laughs> that could be kind of interesting. I would still watch it slightly sped up. But uh, but yeah. I, I would put an hour into that. That could be interesting on like a last day. Or like a Champions League final or something like that. That could be fun. It could also be absolutely devastating. Because being a fan can be quite devastating at times. So there is that. But there's that to consider. But yeah. Um, so hang on, let's have a look at squad length, uh, sorry, contract lengths now. So Tommy Smith's leaving, that's fine. Kalu's leaving. So is leaving. I still want to renew Leonardo Fernandez as our backup, uh, AMC. But he's just not that interested at the moment. Delighted to join you at Colchester due to his admiration for you. Well, how about you come on loan then, you absolute tool? How about you come on loan? Very interested in a loan. You wouldn't be able to tell, honestly. Right. Oh, I kind of forgot. You can only get two loans from one club, can't you? So I still need to get that sorted. Let me go to Leicester and see what other loan it is I want. Oops, I misclicked. Playing mind games on the negotiation table. <laughs> and it's disgusting. Mel Ibanks. Nice. Leicester producing a five star potential regen. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, let's see. Who, who are the younger players in the squad? Adiemi somehow I don't think will be available for loan. Yeah, sadly not. <laughs> Can I not make uh, loan bids yet? That's really annoying. That might mean I can't do that. New gen. Keck W. Who cares? <laughs> Drinking regen? I care. Hmm. Why do you care? Are you a are you a filthy language prescriptivist? Is this what I'm about to find out, Vivian? Fucking yikes! Jesus Christ, Zeki, like, calm down with that, please. I'm gonna have to ask you, to, uh, on a serious note, let's, uh, let's calm down with the kind of, well, yeah, with that kind of joke. Um. Fana Vera. Daniel Marlin, there's no way he's available. Herrera, Dewsbury Hall's contract's running out. James Justin's wanted by Arsenal, because he's very good. <laughs> yeah, there actually isn't anyone there. Let's have a look at under-23s. The older players in the under-23s, any of them any good? Ben Nelson's actually not terrible, but... Mm. Uh, what's the purple ones? Trialists? No, they're people who are out on loan. Trialists are uh, green. You're purple, that means you're out on loan. So Camelso is out on loan at us. 
That's why he's purple in the Leicester squad. But yeah, I actually can't make loan bids for Leicester players at the moment, which is a problem. Not a colour I'm used to. Wait, what colour are uh, people who are out on loan on your save? Right, they've accepted the loan offer as expected. To complete a fake player generation, regen is refreshing the brawl by taking required players. I'm aware of this, and I still don't care. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, regen is the co common parlance, and it still technically has a level of utility in describing the way that the game works, and that the game is regenerated through the introduction of new players. I'm aware that the new players are not mapped onto the old players when they retire in the way that they were. Um, most widely accepted. I mean, it's only wrong if you mean what regen used to mean in old Football Manager, right? As long as everyone understands that that is no longer the mechanic, and the mechanic that is described by SI as new gens is the way that um, the new players are introduced into the game, then if you just call the new thing regens, that's not a problem. <laughs> I don't think anyone is really looking for the, uh, the Ronaldo regen as soon as Ronaldo retires in the game are they and so functionally any issue that would be caused by um by calling them regens is basically non-existent regens still regenerate the number of players in a save right so i would say it still has some descriptive utility uh, and it's the most widely used term that is why I think it's perfectly acceptable to call them regens. I don't think it's wrong to call them new gens. I think that would be incredibly stupid to say. Um, <laughs> but I, I think it is uh, a reasonable description to call them regens. And it doesn't create enough confusion to suggest that it's worth um, changing. That's That's my opinion on that. Canute, we don't really need because we just signed Lewis Travis. Let me compare the two, actually. I probably should have done some comparisons before just signing Travis. I think I got a bit high on, on the 19 aggression and stamina. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Wish we had more in-depth academies. It would be interesting to, to, uh, to see what you could do to um, change the way that academies actually function. But I guess it wouldn't be very realistic, would it? Like, I think there is a fair bit of distance in real life between... Okay, so I mean, Canute is a better box-to-box, -box, but Travis is a better ball winner. Like, if I just highlight ball winner midfielder stuff. I mean, ju it's just the disgusting mentals. It's just so good. He's also better at marking and tackling than Canute, so I'm perfectly happy with this. Uh, important to maintain the delineation across all forms of the genre. Um, I mean, I suppose hypothetically I could be convinced by an argument like that, uh, and maybe it is my lack of knowledge about other games and the kind of harm that it does to uh, discourse and understanding about other management games, um, possibly, but I, I, I because I, I wasn't really aware that regen and new gen were terms that would be used across management games um in a, in a particularly specific way um and if there are people who think that fm still functions in the way that it used to with regens when they were initially called regens by si then um i guess i guess i can understand that might be one reasonable argument um, I don't know whether it would be enough on its own, but it would be one reasonable argument that using new gen would be sensible. Great new gen styles. 
I mean, more control over the depth of recruitment. Global, regional, national, etc. I mean, you can do that with affiliates at least, right? You can get affiliates that will send over their best regens. All oh, right, this is literally this. Let's turn it off. Um, Jan Busman, I'm still not going to be able to sign, right? Unfortunately. Drew's standing in the pram, yeah. More control over affiliates. You know, I mean, when I look at Leicester's situation, it seems quite unrealistic to have more control over affiliates because we keep sending, uh, we keep sending our affiliate, our players to our Belgian affiliates, and they don't play them. Ben Benkovic played a single game, uh, in like a season. Andy King played one game in a season. They actually keep screwing us over and just not playing the players at all. It's really annoying. <laughs> When you agree, you ne you negotiate what rules are in place, like sharing scouting, first option. I agree, actually. Sorry, yeah, no. If you're talking about initial terms of what the affiliate will look like, I actually agree with that. I, I think it's really stupid the way that it works now. It's so hard to access the different types of affiliates. What am I even looking for here? I'm just looking aimlessly. Harvey Barnes on my shortlist. I'm obviously not signing Harvey Barnes. Let's have a look at the Star Strikers. We got anyone absolutely top that still wants to join? Holy shit! I did not know he was out for five to nine months. The Cruciates. That's super unfortunate. Literally owned by the same people, though. Yep, they're literally owned by the same people, and the manager is just going rogue and refusing to play any of the players that we loaned them, except for like Kamal Soa, who was on loan there for three and a half years. <laughs> I'd like to come back in a few years. Uh, and agree to more terms at your own academy than first options. Yeah, that's a that's a cool way of doing it. Oh my god, K Moon wants to join. <laughs> no, give me a work permit. <laughs> if I have enough of a tantrum, then maybe they'll just give him a work permit. Oh, this is so dumb. Look at him; he's delicious. Fuck's sake. Send him to Spain about... No, he literally refuses. Like, he'll negotiate a contract, but then when the work permit fails, he says he's unwilling to join without a work permit, and I can't convince him otherwise. So, unfortunately, I can't do that. Otherwise, I would absolutely be signing him, because he costs less than a million quid. Literally 775k. It's kind of depressing. Tor Ivar Christensen. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced by him. I, like, I think he's good, but I'm not... I'm not convinced he's great. Maybe he is actually. I've just complete. I've just clicked the complete forward button, and now I'm more convinced that actually he's really good. <laughs> Sounds like a flaw in SI logic. No, no, no. The 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 player basically agrees the contract with the idea that they're gonna get a work permit, and then when they don't, they decide, oh, okay, I'm not joining then because I can't play. It does make sense, I think. It seems like a deliberate coding. I remember Bertrand Traore moved to Chelsea and didn't play for like three years. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends. Uh, usually the way... um the, the players that will join without a work permit are ones that you're putting a regular starter or... Oh, sorry, a, um, a like breakthrough prospect or below. So if you sign someone as a breakthrough prospect, um, then the player then the player will join without a work permit. If you promise them game time, do regular starter, star player or whatever, then they won't join. If they don't get a work permit. It's kind of... Oh my god, I'm... I'm so sad. Sky would be... So immense. Oh well. Okay, that's the strikers then. So we're not going to get a star striker yet. Let's have a look at the wingers. We literally only have a Dreesy some reason and he's not even good i just had him because maybe we'd be able to loan him so we don't have wingers left backs just shush timon he's the only one who's interested right backs we got martin and godara i, I might actually go for just timon then because like it's a shame because i really wanted sanusi i don't think i'm going to be able to get him until like january 
And then Josh Tymon, as long as he doesn't want to be a star player. Uh, among the most, most noteworthy players. 28 grand. Are you serious, dude? Are you actually serious? He's not even that good. I can't do that. I can't give him 28 grand when he's not even that good. And it'll cost about 5 mil. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Has a long throw. I mean, yeah, that's nice, but... Yeah. Not hide the inactive. Oh shit! Yeah, we've got like three million players joining. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> so we do have Karimanovic joining, but he's going out on loan because his star rating is completely out of whack. The only players that move IRL without a work permit are prospects looming to develop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's how it works in FM as well, which I think is perfectly reasonable. Oliver Ward. Are you uh, English nationality? Yeah. Borderline great PA player, but he's wasted all his CA in fucking long throws and free kicks. <laughs> <laughs> A guy as good as that South African would be known to every team in the world. Yep, true. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it seems very, very unlikely that he wouldn't get an exception on, like... Because th there's an exception on work permits, right? You can appeal for, like, a special case for a particularly ta talented player. Here, only Colchester knows about him. Yep. <laughs> no, th you're, you're absolutely right. Joaquim Laro. Yeah, I remember signing you. I'll sign you, loan you out, and then... Sell you on for a million quid or so? The problem is the work permit. Isn't he a regular national player? He's got six caps. Um, but yeah, too low on the rankings. Yeah, they're sixty second. The annoy oh the annoying one, Syria. You need to be top fifty to be able to automatically qualify from uh appearances. They're fifty first, and I have Anis Kasem in here, and he's now playing regularly. So what I'm praying happens is if I go schedule here, they've got two games in June. If he plays in both these games, and they win them, they might go to 50th in the world ranking, <laughs> and then I'll be able to get a work permit for him, probably. That is what I'm praying happens. Um, and then we'll be able to have uh, Enis Kassam, because he's a good player, and he'll be uh, my second choice striker. Um, we loaned him out to the Eredivisie last season, and he did pretty... Well, he did okay. He got 7.05, so... I once took the Tunisian job to get Tunisia above 50 in FM19. Nice. <laughs> Imagine if Messi was from US Virgin Islands. <laughs> well, you, would you wouldn't have been able to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, how would he actually ever have gotten a work permit? He would have had to have been signed by a Spanish club and then loaned. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess he wouldn't need a work permit, would he? He'd just go to Spain anyway. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. You can sign players somehow dodgy as fuck under 16. Okay, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Two thirds of Chelsea's academy aren't even from Europe. Two thirds of Chelsea's academy aren't from Europe. I mean, possibly. Is this including like? Yeah, but well, that was what they were. Uh... That's what their transfer ban was about, right? Was signing, um, was signing non EU under 18s, right? Sign great 13, 14, 15 year olds, train them. 
and school and educate them and gets around the work permits. Okay. Do I want to extend any of these loans? Tom Olsen? Still don't have a work permit, so... Yeah, sure, why not? Get you another year of development there. He's doing well. May as well keep him there. Move the families and get them jobs, but the families do come often. Oh, interesting. Okay. Did you got transfer ban for that? Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not... They, they didn't exactly get away with it. Lawrence McMaster, St. Mirren. Did they get promoted? They did. That's fun. Okay. Well, if you want to play in Scottish Prem, then... Yeah. Have a loan extension. Ah, they don't want him. Okay. Family must have moved to country for non-football reasons. I see. Grey areas are working, but it's hard to abuse it without facing consequences. I guess so. Are there any other clubs that have been punished for it? Or are there any clubs that are doing it successfully? They're successfully skirting the, uh, the line. League One. Ross County won League One. Well, there you go. Let's see. Do you want to sign Sample for another year? No. Okay. Didn't the City Football Group and Red Bulls exploit that uh Messi signed a napkin at like age 14, that sounds illegal to me. Oh, I mean players sign for clubs when they're like seven, don't they? I'm pretty sure this is the thing that happens in like native countries or whatever. You'll have someone who's signed to Man United when they're like nine years old. Okay, 90%, that's fine. <laughs> Fernandez rejects offer. What an, what an idiot. God damn it. Right, you really need to go out on loan? You came from the under-19s Division 1 of Spain. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. And you sign that Barca contract then probably for La Masia. Red Bull Academy is just feed the fat pipeline back to Leipzig and Salzburg. Yeah, I get you. Oh, okay. Um, Considering my earlier headache, I'm feeling like uh, I may go ahead and end the stream here. This is this was the second day streaming in a row, so I feel like it's reasonable to chill. I've gone two hours, 40 minutes. It's still like near enough about to normal stream length, so I think I'm going to leave it here. Oh, I didn't save the game. Might be good. Good to see the stream again. Thank you, Zakid. I uh, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you being here. Thanks to uh, thanks to both of you, Vivian, Zakid, and thanks to everyone who was here earlier. If any of you still lurking, Matreya, popping in, Strawberry Blonde, here from the start. We had uh, Iron Bubble come in for a second. Yeah, 
I guess that was, that's most of it. But anyway, um, on that note, good night, everyone. <laughs>